Who's ready to make some jalapeno popper dip? It's game day, baby. Let's go. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to It's Beyond G. Happy game day, Sunday. If you're rooting for the Steelers, you already know what it does. No, I'm just playing. We are making another game day recipe. And today, we will be making some jalapeno hopper dip. Now, I did discover this recipe on TikTok. We'll be using some of the ranch seasoning, some Kobe Jack, some sharp cheddar back there, two blocks of Philadelphia cream cheese, one jalapeno, some green onion, and we're going to cook up this bacon. You'll only need like six slices. You wanna cook mine pretty hard so that it can be crunchy. And then we're going to combine all of the ingredients. So let's get While started. While the bacon is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my veggies. I'm gonna start cutting up the veggies. I think I'm gonna do maybe a three fourths cup of the green onion. I'm gonna use this entire jalapeno. I'm gonna use two of the Philadelphia cream cheese blocks. And I'm going to use, uh, let's go with a tablespoon of this ranch seasoning. Don't do too much, but do it how you like it. All right, while we have our bacon cooking, pop these cream cheese bricks just like that. If you don't eat pork, go ahead and sizzle up some turkey bacon. That's what we usually eat, but I don't want to alter this recipe. I want to see how good it tastes. GT, got my bacon cooking nicely. Y'all don't see it up in there? I don't want that. I don't think Jay wants that fire. What team are y'all rooting for this year? What's your team? How your team doing? What are y'all making for game day today? If we have any super football fans and you're interested in following some sports, Check out Jay's channel. It's called Jay Knows Nothing. Without the G, Jay Knows Nothing. Got a new channel, check it out. And if you are new to the channel, welcome. We're just in the kitchen cutting up. So, Smells so good. And I like mine's finely chopped. My knife is quite dull, but it's cool. We're getting done. Smelling good, like it should. All right, here's my bacon. I am blotting out some of the grease. And I am about to chop it up. All right, I'm flattening out, or as they call it, folding the cream cheese. This ranch seasoning, not too much, because we gotta taste as we go. I'm gonna add a little bit of this bacon. A little bit of these onions and peppers. And we're gonna stir. Now, this is when your arm work has to come in. Oh, no. Oh, no. I promise y'all I'm not drinking. Oh, just having a little Sunday fun. This is smelling good. My arms is hurting. Look, go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me get it all together. When I tell you this looks that smells so good. Ooh. All right, G team, we, we're gonna get this all stirred up and I will see you in just a second. I'm gonna add some cheese. Now they were using sharp cheese, but I'm gonna be using sharp Kobe Jack, three cheeses. Like that. And I'm gonna use some of this Kobe Jack. Remember, you can also this how you want to. Some Kobe Jack, just like that. A little bit more of the ranch. So I've used about, I don't even think I've used a whole tablespoon. I just don't like overly salty stuff, but taste it as you go. We've already cooked the bacon. 
all the other ingredients are safe to eat. It looks so good. I'm tempted to add a little sour cream in this. Just for like some creaminess. But I'm not I'm not gonna mess with it this time. Because it's nobody else's recipe. Yep, it's just like making a cheese ball. We're gonna get all these ingredients mixed up nicely. And then we're gonna form it into our cheese ball. And if you like meat, you can still wrap it with corned beef or you can add your corned beef. You can add more bacon if you want. I'll use six pieces. I think that's mixed pretty well. That salmon is smelling the bomb. I'm gonna go ahead and shake this. I'll see you all in a minute. Put the clump on some clear cellophane. This is how you can make your ball. If you're not wearing gloves and you're not on that, you don't wanna touch it. You can manipulate your ball with your plastic wrap. You just take it, cover it off, and literally, it's like Play-Doh. Get your ball ready. And then let me show you how you can place it. When you have your ball ready, you unwrap it. Unwrap it like that. You get your tray that you want to use. And then, y'all ready for this? Oh. You put it down like that. And then, and then, y'all see how cute this tray is? Kind of like a football tray. And then you put more cheese on it. And then you get the crackers that you want to use ready to lay out on your tray. I just want to tell you all, thank you so much if you've made it this far for watching this recipe. You can simply take your crackers, line up your party tray, wrap it up, and take it to whatever party you're going to. Okay? But I just wanted to show you all what this looks like. It is so good. It is delicious. And if you want to put more kick to it, add those jalapeno seeds, put this in a nine by 13 baking pan, put it in the oven 350 for a few minutes. You got a nice bubbly jalapeno popper dip. But here you have it. All right, let me know what you all think about this. It's sure to be a hit. And until next time, be safe, be blessed. Have a great week. Bye.